If you're like most pet parents, you're always on the lookout for new pet products that'll make your life easier and make your pet's life better. So if this is you, stay tuned because we're going to share our top 20 favorite pet products on today's episode of Starlight Pet Talk. You're listening to Starlight Pet Talk, a podcast for pet parents who want the best pet care advice from cat experts, dog trainers, veterinarians, and other top pet professionals who will help you live your very best life with your pets. We also share inspiring rescue and adoption stories from people who've taken their love of pets to the next level by getting involved in animal welfare. My name is Amy Castro, and I'm the founder and president of Starlight Outreach and Rescue and a columnist for Pet Age magazine. I've rescued thousands of animals and helped people just like you find the right pet for their family. My mission is to help pet parents learn all the ways that they can care for, live with, and even have fun with their pets so they can live their very best lives and their pets can too. Welcome to Starlight Pet Talk. I'm your host, Amy Castro. And as many of you probably know, if you've listened to the podcast for a while, I run an animal rescue along with my daughter, Kelsey, and a lot of fantastic volunteers. And as you can imagine, we use a large variety of different pet products. So what we wanted to do was to share our top 20 favorite products that we use time and again here at the rescue that make our lives easier, make our pets' lives better, and are quality and long-lasting. And just as a note, when we say top 20, these are not in any particular order. It really is our top 20 go-to products in a wide range of categories, which you'll see as we get into it. So let's go. Product number one is a product called Otoban. And Otoban is our go-to cleaner for pretty much everything that we do at the rescue. It is a great general purpose cleaner for disinfecting and killing germs. It comes in a concentrate bottle in a gallon size here that we use at various concentrations depending upon the job. The other thing that we really like about Otoban is that it is a great laundry additive. If you have stinky water, or if your laundry has a tendency to have a mildewy smell. For us, because we live in the country and we're on well water, our water is not chlorinated or treated in any way. So sometimes the laundry is not as fresh smelling as it could be. And Odaban helps us keep it that way and kill the germs of all the animal laundry that we do, which is a pretty significant amount of laundry. So if you're looking for a good general purpose cleaner to have around the house that is cost effective, comes in a concentrate, Odaban is your product to go to. And in fact, if you love it, like we love it so much, you can actually join the Facebook group for people that that call themselves Odo Bandits. They like it so much. Product number two is Nature's Miracle Urine Destroyer Plus. This is a great cleanup product specifically for cat urine that not only has enzymes in it that break down the urine so that the smell is gone long term, but also really helps with the immediate smell issues that you're dealing with. What we like about this product is it can be used on a variety of surfaces. We have issues sometimes with animals going on furniture or soft products that normally would have to be thrown away, but we find that this product really gets in there, takes care of the smell long term, and the enzyme not only helps break down the urine from a smell standpoint for us as humans, but seems to have a positive impact on animals not necessarily going back to that spot over and over again. This is another product that comes in a gallon refill if you need it. You may not need that much. You can get it just in the spray bottle like I'm showing here if you're looking on the video. And the other thing that's nice about it is they provide a guarantee. So if for some reason you decide that you don't like it, can't imagine you wouldn't, but if you decide you don't like it, then you can take advantage of that guarantee. Product number three, is a product by Purina called Fortiflora. We use that at the rescue and have used it for years, specifically for cats, but they do have a version for dogs as well, so we do use it for dogs as well. This is a probiotic formula that is great for a wide variety of tummy troubles. Sometimes we get animals that come in and they've not had good nutrition, or we've got kittens that have been overfed and so they've got diarrhea and things like that. And this really seems to help get their gut flora back in shape. Uh, What we find it to be especially helpful for is the fact that it is safe for quite a wide range of ages from down to our younger kittens to seniors. The pets, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what it is about it, if it just smells great or if it tastes great, but 
Whenever we sprinkle Fortiflora on their food, everybody is chowing down on that food. So it's very easy to get the animal to eat it, which is a challenge a lot of times with supplements that we might be using. You can buy a lot of different types of probiotic products, but one of the reasons that we come back to this one over and over again is it comes in small little sachets, little packets, whatever you want to call them that really keep the product fresh. And it allows us to be able to, you know, use a, a sachet for morning and, and night, and then you're done with it and you move on and you get a fresh one the next day. If you don't use a lot of it or you've only got one pet, then a sachet may last you for a couple of days. And so this is a really great product that we rely on pretty regularly. Another point about it is that they actually have also come out with a new product that has a calming effect as well. So definitely something to check out. Product number four is Van Ness Litter Boxes. Now, the one, if you're watching on video on YouTube, the one that I'm showing on my screen here is the giant high-sided litter pan. It's about a little over 21 inches by about 17 and a half by nine high. So it's a good size. It is great. The high sides help keep a lot of litter in if you've got an aggressive kicker for your cat box. But what we like most of all here at the rescue about the Van Ness litter boxes is they come in a lot of different sizes from high sides down to just the low regular sizes. So we use these big ones when we've got animals that are out in the open. If we have an animal that maybe needs to be confined to a cage because it's sick or injured, then they have small ones that are really nice. They fit underneath a raised bed and they don't take up a lot of space. So the smaller ones are great if you're stashing a litter box in a bathroom or something like that. And especially good if you do have cats that don't like a cover over their litter box or don't like to jump in from the top. Just a good option. And bottom line, one of the best things about this litter box is that it's inexpensive. It's probably one of the least expensive litter boxes you're going to find on the market. It is well made and as it gets worn, as all plastic litter boxes will, we have stainless steel ones as well, but as it gets worn, then it's not a thing that's gonna break the bank when you have to replace it. Product number five is the Petmate two door dog or cat kennel, depending upon what, you, what the size is. We use a lot of the smaller ones of this product here at the rescue for transporting cats and small dogs. What we love in particular, well, first of all, I will say we love most pet mate products that we have. As a matter of fact, times where I've dug through and said, oh, this is one of my favorite bowls. Guess what? I flip it over and it is a, you know, pet mate plastic two feeder bowl, that kind of thing. So we have a lot of pet mate products around the rescue. But what is particularly great about this carrier is number one, it is super sturdy. We have a lot of carriers that look nice, but you drop them once, not with an animal in it, of course, but you drop it, it gets knocked over on the concrete, and the next thing you know, it's cracked and unusable. So this product is very well made. It's very sturdy. I like the way that it is assembled with the little screws around the uh, top and bottom clamshell, which are, once you put them on snugly, they're going to stay snug. They're not going to fall apart but you can take them apart easily when you want to, if you want to store it. Um, it can kind of sit in on itself, the two clamshells, and take up a little bit less space. So it's easy to assemble, easy to disassemble, but once you assemble it well, it's gonna to stay together. It's gonna to last for a long time. And we love the two doors for two reasons. Number one, sometimes you've got animals that will willingly go through the front door and willingly come out the front door. A lot of times we don't, and they've gotta be put in from the top and removed from the top. So it is easy for getting animals in and out of. And because of how well it is made, the top lid, you don't have to worry about coming open. We had an incident one time with a different type of top loader, two door cat carrier, and almost lost an animal coming out of it because as we were walking along, the latch came undone and the top started to open. So this has never happened with any of our pet mate two door kennels. So this is something if you've got an animal that uh, that you transport or just want something good to have around the house, definitely look into these two door kennels. They're awesome. Product number six is made by a company called Shiny Pet and it says it right on the scissors. Pet nail clippers for small animals. These are inexpensive, which is awesome. But what we really like about them the most, because we have a lot of different little little clippers for small dogs and for cats, is that these are nice and sharp and they stay sharp. So what that means is you're gonna get a clean cut 
across uses with these clippers. You're not going to get nails that are crushed or that split in the process of trying to clip them. So it makes the makes the process of clipping the animal's nails obviously less painful for the animal, quicker for you to get the job done. They're sturdy, they're well made, and they're super inexpensive in the grand scheme of clippers. So you could have one of these to maybe replacing another set three or four times and these will still be going. So definitely recommend these little clippers. Product number seven is the Gorilla Grip stainless steel dog bowls. Now in a rescue situation, we always want to have stainless steel bowls available. They are the easiest to sanitize. You don't have to worry about what you, what you would with plastic, for example, um, about germs getting in little scratches and things like that. But we like these in particular because they have this no slip or no push rubber bottom that really holds up. Um, it holds up well over multitudes of washings and still maintains its uh, integrity as far as the base and the steel. No rusting, things like that. Um, we have had other grip type stainless bowls that have rubber on the bottom and it either will disintegrate or sometimes it's just a rubber ring on the bottom that then falls out and now it's just a slipping sliding stainless steel bowl. So if you want to invest in a good set of stainless steel bowls, I would recommend these. They come in a variety of sizes, which is awesome, and colors. We don't really care about color coordinating here at the rescue, but if you do, you'll have some color options to choose from with these bowls as well. Product number eight is another bowl that we use specifically in a cage type setting. So if we have animals that are being transported and they need access to food and or water during that transport because it's an extended period of time, or we've got animals that are being shown at the Pet Supplies Plus store in our local town here nearby called Friendswood, Texas, we don't want to put bowls on the floor because they get knocked around, they get spilled, and it turns into a big mess. So these Lixit Quick Lock stainless steel bowls are our go-to bowls. Now, these bowls come in a variety of sizes, which are kind of nice. They easily attach to crates with the latch mechanism that they have. They come in stainless or plastic, depending upon what you what you need. And what we like about them is they're easy to get on and off with the way that the mechanism goes into the base. And at least as we have discovered so far, the locking me mechanism is the same on different size bowls. So you can use the same base that is already attached to your kennel or to a cage and just drop a new different type of bowl into it and it's gonna work just fine. And we have had these that we've had for years and they last a really long time. They're, they're super sturdy, super well made, and definitely great for travel and transport. Product number nine is my personal favorite dog coat, the Rough Wear Dog Coats. Now, they come in of different varieties depending upon uh, what you need them for, but I first purchased a Rough Wear coat probably 15 years or so ago. I actually purchased two of them, one for my Doberman Pinscher, the other one for my Miniature Pinscher. And what I was looking for was a coat that was well-made, that was going to keep my dogs warm, that was not going to have a bunch of frill fluff and silliness that may look cute for photos, but is not great for hoofing it through the woods on a hike when you've got a hood that's catching on brush and brambles and things like that. So these coats will last you a super long time. They're assuming you measure properly. They're going to fit your animal just right. They are easy to toss into the washing machine. And the other thing that I like about them is they don't have a lot of complicated fasteners. So it, they're easy to get on and off, and there's not a lot of things for your animal to slip out of or to get caught up on. And they're just all around really, Rough Wear is just really great gear, all of their products. But if you're looking for a coat that is stylish, but not frou-frou, and something that is going to be great for an active lifestyle, then definitely check out these Rough Wear dog coats. And again, they have they come in various varieties from waterproof to, uh, to other materials, depending upon how you're going to use them and where you're going to be with your dog. Product number 10 is the PetSafe Martingale Collar. Now, before I get into PetSafe, which is one of my um, favorite product companies. Um, what I want to say about Martingale collars is they can be an absolute lifesaver, especially if you have a dog whose neck is bigger than its head. 
Many times in my travels around with pets, I have seen pet owners lose their pets because the pet stops moving and the pet owner is still moving and the collar comes right off the dog's head. Now, one could say they didn't have that collar tight enough, but there are some dogs, because of their anatomy, that their neck is so much wider than their head that you can't really get that without choking them. Obviously, you don't want to do that. You can't get that collar tight enough to not slip over their heads because their heads are smaller than their necks. So because of the way that a martingale collar is made, it can be adjusted to fit like a normal collar would, but it has this little extra loop that when pressure is put on the leash, it tightens the collar. And so it'll be perfectly comfortable for your dog when they're wearing it around on a daily basis, but when you need that collar to stay on and not slip over their head, you've got that martingale loop that will engage when you have him or her on a leash. It's also a great handle, a great place to go ahead and grab hold of the dog if you need it to. So the reason I like the Pet Safe product is that number one, they're cost effective. And I put that on the bottom of my list here, but they're they're definitely cost effective. They come in a, a wide variety of colors that are, you know, adjustable or not adjustable, um, buckles, not buckles. So they've got different styles and types depending upon your needs. And they're strong and sturdy. And you can, when you're ready, you can just throw them in the washing, ma washing machine to clean them up and they clean up really well. Um, I also like the fact that the metal parts are very well made. They don't rust, they hold up. And like I said, cost effective is probably no number one thing when we're buying lots and lots of collars at the rescue. This is a collar that we can trust and one that's not gonna break the bank. Pet product number 11 is also a collar. It's another type of collar that we use here called the Tough Pupper Classic Heavy Duty Dog Collar. And what we like about these, and we use these specifically for when we know an animal's gonna get wet or wet a lot, maybe need a lot of bathing. And if you've got a dog, like I have one in particular, I won't name her name, she's just stinky. She's just a stinky dog, no matter how much you bathe her. She gets a, a nylon collar on and that collar is gonna stink. And even if you wash the collar well, it's gonna hold the smell. It just, she just puts off an odor that is particularly strong and gets embedded in things. And what I like about these Tough Pupper collars is that they are strong and sturdy. They are waterproof and they are odorproof. So you're not gonna have that issue with odor getting embedded in your collar. They've got great hardware on them that doesn't rust and you know stays looking nice and they also come in a wide variety of colors and sizes depending upon your dog's need so we have several of these in pink because pink is one of our colors at starlight outreach and rescue and we have them in a bunch of different sizes for the various dogs that come through the rescue and that's what they wear um, until they get adopted and they go home with their their permanent collar so definitely check these out if you spend a lot of time in the water with your dog or if you got a stinky one like i do Pet products number 12 and 13, I am lumping together because what I wanted to talk about here for a little bit is leashes, dog leashes. So there's a couple of different types that are our go-to leashes here at, or I would say more my go-to leashes at the rescue. One of them is a dog leash made by a company called Somide. It is the tie-out cable leash. And so if you're not familiar with what a tie-out is, it's generally a tie-out is going to be a long metal leash with a rubber coating, like a metal cable with a rubber coating. It's gonna have a clip on either end and people use them to clip one end to the dog and the other end to either a dog run or a tie out in the yard. But that's not what we use it here for at the rescue. We use this version, which has a clip on one end and has a handle on the other end. And what's nice about this leash is number one, it's great if you've got an animal that chews leashes. We had a situation fairly recently where we were at an adoption event and I had a dog on a normal nylon, kind of cot nylon-y cottony leash and it wasn't super thick. And before I knew it, he had been gnawing on it. I didn't notice he was doing that. And next thing you know, the leash is chewed through and that's the end of the leash and could have been the end of the dog running away if uh, he wasn't just preoccupied by his chewing and I noticed it quickly enough. So this is a type of leash that cannot be chewed. Although I will say, if you let them get at the foam handle, they can chew that part, but they're not going to get away and chew through this leash. 
The other thing that I like about it is it's great for using when you're acclimating a dog indoors. So what I do with this leash a lot is I will put the handle underneath the coffee table leg, underneath a chair leg. It's a six foot leash. So if I've got a dog I want to keep an eye on, I don't, I'm not ready to let them free roam in my house. Maybe they're a leg lifter and they're not used to being in the house or they haven't been neutered yet. And so it keeps the dog close by, but doesn't, you know, I don't have to confine them in a crate. And I don't have to worry that while I'm watching my favorite movie that he's chewed through the leash and has now disappeared into my dining room, lifting his legs on my furniture. So it's just a handy leash. It's inexpensive. And Somide seems to be the only company that I have found that has the type of tie out cable that is actually a leash with a handle on one end. Another leash that I really love so much that I kind of hide it so nobody accidentally takes it or lo loses it is a leash called the Bungee Puppy by Sparky Pet Company. And this is basically a leash that is made out of about four small, skinny, bungee type cords that are twisted together. It's got a great rubbery cover where the ends are folded over so that nothing frays and nobody can chew on the ends of the leash. And what I like about this is if you've got a dog that is maybe a little bit more of a puller or something that maybe doesn't normally pull but might pull if they see something, it just has enough little give that you're not going to get kind of yanked off your feet or something like that because it, it does have that little bit of spring to it. So I like it for that purpose. And obviously that's a training issue and that's something that you need to work on probably with another type of leash, but it's just a handy leash for me. I also like the clip mechanism that clips onto the collar. It's just an easy clip to operate, to snap that on, and holds really well. So definitely something to look into that bungee puppy. And then I don't have a favorite slip lead to share. I'm still working on it. I'm still experimenting with a couple of different types, but I wanted to bring up slip leads because I think it's something that every dog owner should at least have one of. And what it basically is, is it's a one size fits all lead, lead leash and collar kind of rolled into one and it will adjust based on the size of the dog's neck as you slide it down. The reason I'm still experimenting for my favorite types because I've got skinny ones, I've got long ones, I've got thicker ones is the locking mechanism. Uh, the challenge with slip leashes, they're great for training. They're awesome for training. We use them a lot for training. But if you actually wanted to go out in public with this leash, you really need one that has a good sliding lock mechanism so that the leash doesn't open up so much that the dog can just slip out of the slip lead. So definitely want to look at something that has a fairly significant slide down locking mechanism. Usually they're going to be rubber. Um, oftentimes they're leather, like a little leather tab that you slide down the leash. And you want something that's going to be big enough that it's not going to slip through the clip. And you also want something that's snug enough that it's going to stay in place and not just slide all over the place. Otherwise, there's no point in even having one. So once I figure out what I think is a great one, I will come back and share that with you. Item number 14 is the Snuggle Safe Pet Bed Microwave Heating Pad. Now, I don't think you probably have infant kittens at your house on a regular basis, but I do. And what we use these microwave heating pads for is to put in the microwave for about four minutes. We put it underneath the bedding for little baby kittens who cannot regulate their body temperatures, and it will keep them warm for up to 10 hours. Obviously, it's the hottest when you first microwave it, and then after 10 hours, it's going to be cooled off. And what's great about this for us is that the kittens will adjust their position. Even tiny, tiny infants, if it's too warm, they'll move over. If it starts to get a little cool, they'll move back onto the disc. So it gives them the option to get away from the heat. Whereas if we were to put a full-blown heating pad in their kennel that took up the entire space, you've got one temperature, it's going to stay the same the whole time, and maybe that's not the best temperature. The other thing, for those of you who don't have infant kittens, but maybe you put a heating pad out for your pet to keep them warm in the winter because you've got an older pet who's maybe got a little arthritis and you're trying to keep them comfortable. I'm always concerned about those things catching fire. What if there's a fault in the wiring? I, I actually plugged something in the other day that had been stored in my attic for a while and it literally sparked, smoked, and it I could see fire inside of it. Not safe. So... I don't have to worry about plugs, cords, anything like that. Um, I don't have to worry about fires starting with this. I don't have to worry about my pet getting electrocuted or shocked, probably not electrocuted, but shocked if they bite the uh, electric cord because there is no electric cord. And 
you can pop this in the microwave before you go to work, put it in your pet's bedding and know that they're going to be safe and warm for the day while you are gone or overnight. Same thing. Pop it in the microwave again and off you go. The other thing that's super nice about these is that they are very well made and they last a long time. And as a matter of fact, I don't even think I've had one go bad. We've just lost them because they get sent to a foster and then they never make their way back. But they don't need any maintenance. They're, you know, they're easy to clean if you even need to clean them. And they're just a great way to keep pets toasty warm. And um, as you can see, if you're looking at the video, wide variety of pets, they even have a bunny warming up on one. So definitely check out the Snuggle Safe Pet Bed Microwave Heating Pad. Product number 15, speaking of beds and bedding, is the Midwest Homes for Pets Bolster Dog Bed. Now you may know Midwest as a wire crate company and another other pet product company, and we do use their wire crates a lot. Um, I should have put wire crates on here, but I only had room for 20 products. It was quite a challenging decision to figure out what was gonna end up on this list. But what I like about these beds are a couple of things. Number one, they do come sized for crates. So if you do travel with your pet a lot or your pet sleeps in a crate at night, you're going to find a bed that is the right size for the crate and not have leftover space in there. So that's kind of nice. The other thing is it is easy to wash in the machine. It's not a bulky bed. Even the bigger ones are not super bulky. The most of the bedding is or the bulk is in the bolster, the little trim, and the bottom is nicely padded. So it's comfortable for the pet, but it doesn't take up, again, a ton of room in the washing machine. It also seems to be one of those beds that pets don't seem to try to destroy, at least in my experience, because I think there's just not a lot of stuffing for them to want to get in there and tear at. And they hold up. They definitely hold up over multiple, multiple washings, at least around here. And they're cost effective. They're not super expensive at all. So definitely check these out if you're looking for something that is easy to wash or something that fits your crate if you've got a crate. Product number 16 is also a pet bed. It's a new one that we've recently started using, and that's the Western Home Store pet bed that looks like, I don't know what they call these things. I call it like a nest bed, a donut bed. It looks like a, almost like a beanbag chair back in the day for those of you who are older. Um, but it's but it's nicely round, roundly shaped. It's usually very fluffy and has fur on it. And what we like about the ones that we have is it's great for pets who like to snuggle down in the bed and stay warm and cozy. Comes in a variety of sizes. And even though it's bulkier than the Midwest bed, it's just it's for a different use for us. But it is still relatively easy to wash, at least in the small to medium medium sizes. You know, if you get into the bigger ones, you might have to wash a load by itself, but they do wash up well um, and don't seem to retain odor like some other beds do. So if you've got a snuggler who likes to get down all in there, then this is going to be a great bed for that pet. Product number 17, we're getting here towards the end of the list, is the Benabone Durable Dog Chew Toys for Aggressive Chewers. And they make some for not aggressive chewers. This one in particular that seems to be a fan favorite around here at the Rescue Ranch is the wishbone shape. But there are other shapes that it comes in as well. So you do need to experiment a little bit to see which ones that your dog likes. But for some reason, the dogs around here, and we have a lot that come and go, and, and a lot of different sizes, seem to love these Benabone bones. And in particular, this wishbone shape one. I think it's because it's easier for them to like hold with their paws and chew on because of the angle and the fact that it's got the three different little bone ends or knobs or whatever you want to call that. And they just seem to love them. Um, it's the go-to bone when there's all kinds of toys on the floor. Somebody's arguing over this one or stealing it from somebody. And they again, they do come in different shapes and sizes depending upon your pet. So definitely check out Benabone as an option because, like I said, our dogs love them. Hopefully yours will too. Product number 18 can't have a top 20 list without acknowledging Kong toys. And I couldn't think about one in particular that is a favorite. So I'm just going to throw out there that if you're looking for high quality toys that meet a variety of your pet's play, chewing, chasing needs that you look at Kong toys. For those of you who are, who are cat people, you may not know that Kong also makes really good quality cat toys, again, of a wide variety from the, one of our favorites around here is the Kickaroo. Cats like to kick the stuffing out of that one, although they can't kick the stuffing. I've never seen them actually tear it up, but they kick, they kick it and they kick it hard and they wrestle it around and they really love it. 
Um, but they do make a lot of different cat toys. And what I like about Kong toys is, number one, the high quality materials that they make them out of. They're durable. They're going to last. I've had Kongs that we've had for years. Pets love them. And again, you got to find the right activity for the right pet and the right Kong for the right pet, because that's something that I think is relatively unique about Kong. And if you want to know more about play and playing with your pet across their lifetime, you've got to go back and listen to our episode on playing with pets, because one of the things that Kong does especially well is they've got toys for various ages. So for example, if you're looking at the video right now, I have two of the traditional little snowmen shape, you know, the three, three tier traditional Kong chew toys. And there's a red one and a purple one. Well, I never knew until I did that episode with the Kong representative that the red was for medium chewers. The purple are for senior pets or, or for pets that maybe have issues with their jaw or their teeth because it's softer. And then if you've got a dog that's a heavy, heavy duty chewer, there's the black Kongs. Those are the heavy duty, much harder ones. So I never knew there was a difference in the, the three types. They also have cat Kongs that are just like this purple one, but super tiny for cats. And what's nice about those toys and a bunch of the toys that Kong makes is they also make treats and stuffing to put inside those Kongs that will keep your pets occupied for hours. Uh, you can obviously also use your own stuffing. A lot of times we'll take Kongs, stuff them with peanut butter, put them in the freezer, and that will keep a dog occupied trying to get at that peanut butter as it thaws out over the course of a day. So you can't go wrong with any of the Kong products for sure, but certainly not their toys. There's something for everybody. Product number 19 is not a pet product. Okay, I snuck one in here on you, but we use these totes. So these are the Iris USA weatherproof airtight totes. And they have come in so handy for a variety of uses that I think you will see that there are some applications for your pets as well. We use these totes because the, the ones that we buy are wheeled and have a handle. So we use these to go to adoption events. We use them to store our merchandise, the t-shirts that we sell, the Starlight Outreach and Rescue shirts, and the Starlight Pet Talk t-shirts. And the beauty of it is you pack them up, you put them in the shed, where it, which is not temperature controlled, and I never have to worry about bugs getting into them. I never have to worry about moisture getting into them because of the airtight nature and the latching mechanisms that are on there. And when we're, when we're ready to go to an event, just grab the handle, wheel it out, load it in the car, wheel it to wherever you're going, and it's great. So it's, it's great for us for storage and transport. Now, if you don't need to transport it, you might just get them for storage. We store our pet Halloween costumes in them. We store pet clothing in there. We store bedding in there. And once you wash everything up and you put it in one of these totes, it's going to stay fresh and clean and bug free until you're ready to use it again. So just wanted to put these out here because I know there are a lot of different types of totes out there, but this one's going to keep whatever you put in there pretty darn safe. And product number 20 is probably one of my favorite products because it's so important to what we do here at the rescue. And that is the Gamma 2 Vittles Vault. What I like about these We've gone through so many different types of containers to store pet food around here. And the thing that we run into is bugs getting into the feed, especially if it's feed that is stored out in our barn, and moisture because we live in a hot, humid climate and you spend $40 on a bag of dog food and it's moldy because moisture got in. Uh, or for us, when you're talking about storing things outside, we also use this to store horse food and chicken food. And it's pr about the only thing that keeps the food safe when you're trying to go through a 50 pound bag of horse food or chicken food. So a couple things that I like about this, it's at least in our experience, it's critter proof. If you put that lid on and you screw it tight, it's airtight, it keeps the food fresh, and we have not seen any evidence, you know, even out in the barn where I know there are mice and, and other critters running around, that anything has attempted to get into them. I also like them because it holds a lot of food. Like I said, 50 pounds. This one in particular that I'm showing on my screen will hold a 50-pound bag of uh, horse food, dog food, cat food, whatever you want to put in it. The other thing that's really cool about these vaults is that they come in just a stand-up canister type and they also come in ones that have an angled opening so that you can stack them and so in our 
dog room, or we refer to it as the dog room, where we keep all the indoor pet food. We have these stacked in there. And so it is space saving and we just label the fronts and you know exactly what you need to open when you're going in to get food. So if you're looking for a good storage container to keep your pet food safe and dry and fresh as long as possible, definitely check into these Gamma 2 Vittles Fault. It's not the cheapest container, certainly not the most expensive thing you could find to put food in, but it is well worth the investment and they're sturdy and they really last. So I hope you've enjoyed this foray into some of our favorite pet products. Be sure, once you're done listening to this episode or watching this video, to check out our favorite products page on our website at www.starlightpettalk.com because we will be adding more products as time goes on that we love and you can investigate them. And for many of them, we are able to secure discounts and special benefits just for you when you shop from our website. So again, that's going to be on www.starlightpettalk.com. And thank you for listening to another episode of Starlight Pet Talk. Thanks for listening to Starlight Pet Talk. Be sure to visit our website at www.starlightpettalk.com for more resources. And be sure to follow this podcast on your favorite podcast app so you'll never miss a show. If you enjoyed and found value in today's episode, we'd appreciate a rating on Apple. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would be great too. Don't forget to tune in next week and every week for a brand new episode of Starlight Pet Talk. And if you don't do anything else this week, give your pets a big hug from us.